Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today, we are playing something a little bit different, and that is one of my favorite titles, XCOM. But this one is going to be XCOM Chimera Squad. I used to love the XCOM series back then, remember the MS-DOS version of it, then the XCOM remake, and of course XCOMs 2. Never really beat 2, I think I beat 1, but never beat 2. I'm going to play Chimera and see how things go, so let's just get started. Alright, so we're going to start a new game, we're going to set the difficulty. I kind of want to make it a little bit challenging, so I'm going to go Expert, because I'm more familiar with um, XCOM kind of situations. So Expert would be the ideal option to go. Normal might be way too easy for me, so let's just see how it goes. Um, I'm not going to play Iron Man, Hardcore, uh, or anything like that. We'll leave the tutorial on for now, and um, half heals between encounters, and that's basically our uh, dirty scene. So Chimera Squad is a little bit different from the original um, XCOM games where um, the, you, you move one your whole squad and then the enemy moves or vice versa. This is more time based where it can be individual. One enemy, you your move, one enemy, your move kind of situation. But it sounds interesting and since it's one of my favorite titles, we're going to try to play through this as much as possible. Of course, if you like the series, leave a like, comment, and also subscribe. And of course, hit that notification bell to be alerted of new episodes. All right. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM hmm. attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. I wish I could have pulled my weight. For which It's not like the MS DOS exactly. old days. I find that very hurtful. <laughs> sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3-1 PD so, gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. So we get to meet the first three characters of the squad. Look at Godmother, Terminal, and Cherub. And the door. <laughs> and what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. Now Whisper. This hey, um, Whisper is hey, kind of yeah. the person that overwatches the the mission i guess the next room. A of i would think godmother is the boss lady squad, take prep, for breach. prep for breach so this is a little bit new in terms of xcoms it's the breaching options i mean if you want to read through it feel free i i kind of played a little bit through some of the tutorials so i already know what it does so yep so we're gonna pick our breach guys i'm gonna do cherub termino and Godmother, since they're the only people I have anyways. Once you set them up, time to breach. Let's go. Alright, first thing to do is shoot the bad guys. <laughs> Perfect shot. Next person with a shot. And of course we can choose between who we want to shoot. And it's 100% for either one, so let's just choose one. Critical, nice. And next person to shoot. Boom. Got like shotgun. Uh-huh. Hello. I am Mayor Nightingale. May Nightingale. Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just <laughs> a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah blah blah. Right, why are we listening to the recording? Come on, let's get get on with it. Exactly. Focus. Alright, turning and moving is very similar to the old XCOMs. Um I need to get used to right clicking, <laughs> to be honest. And um, pretty much that's how you pretty much move. So the timeline is, yeah, this is where you see who goes after who. So Cherub, Enemy, um, what's her name? Time, <laughs> I already forgot. And then moves on to Enemy and the Godmother. So that's a little different, but not too bad. Um, so we get a, a set. So of course, if you want a quick tutorial, it basically you get two turns. One did a blue, and then you could do an action, which is shooting or overwatch or whatever options they have. You get into the yellow or orange 
that's when you dash that's actually getting rid of two moves so sometimes you definitely don't want to do that um, but of course you want to move large distances that's ideal all right so let's see what we want to do so right now we have cherub to move um we could go a little aggressive move him right here right in front of the enemy and pretty much shoot um you can click individual but i like to hit the number keys here one and twos so we're gonna have this guy fire he's got 88 percent he's 81 percent versus the person right in front of him is 65 which is a little bit odd but we'll go for the 81 percent guy and of course you miss <laughs> Uh, 12% and you miss. How dare you? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta move this person now. Um, I guess we can move here. Or can we actually shoot one? Can't shoot one yet. 53% uh, chance. Actually, we shoot this guy. Let's not shoot him. Let's just move over here. And now see who I can shoot. I can't shoot anybody. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we could do a little bit of an overwatching action here. So if one person moves, she might do an action. And that's the action. Here we go. Boom. Damage, but not down. So that's not good. Ooh, I took some damage too. Alright, the key point, I think, is going to be right here. And we're going to take down the 64% guy. Shotgun. Boom. Ooh. Bounced right off the wall. Awesome. And I get to go again, so he's at 1, so I guess I could just pretty much get him from here. 82%, that's good enough. If you miss, okay, <laughs> you better not miss. You missed 12% before. You see this? Huh, interesting. Oh, we're being stalked. Oh. Whoa. Contact. He's with us, right? Clear. <laughs> yes. He is. Verge. So he looks like he's psionic powers. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. Yeah, he definitely got psionic powers so he can feel people in different rooms. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we got to breach another door, it looks like. So, yeah, multiple breach points now, it says. So, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we could stack up here and here, up top. All right, here, up top. So now we have four people because Burris just joined us. So, right, terminal. All right, so let's do up here. Let's do Verge and the Godmother. Actually, no. We're going to do terminal. Here, we'll take the Godmother and Cherub. The reason why I put Godmother down here is because she has a shotgun. It's more close range, I believe. So it hits a little harder. And we're set to breach. One, two, three, breach. Breaching. We shall move in. All right, who do we get to shoot? We see one there, one in front, one on the left. Okay, another on the left. Okay, so we'll take this guy because what was that about? Wait, was it? No, oh, no, yeah. I took that guy out because he's underneath the stairs. Uh, that I think where the other people breached in from. And now you have 91% there, 69. Um, I don't know. Who do I want? High percentage? High percentage it is. 91. Boom. And he's not down. Alright, so that's okay. Now the people on top gets to fire. And there's some guy right in front of you with 79%. Oh come on. That's that's just ridiculous. Let's take out the 90% guy. Okay. He got shot but not down. Not good. So alright, we're gonna have to take this guy down in front of us. Oh perfect, got crit or whatnot damaged. Oof. Godmother took some damage. Alright, so now we got some guys, some um, area view up top. And now we got different agent abilities. So each agent has a unique ability that can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their class equipment. Most agents also have the subdue ability, a non-lethal attack that is low damage but guarantees to hit. 
Use it to earn additional rewards and certain mission objectives. Trev uses the large... Oh, Trev uses the charge bash ability instead of a subdue. Okay, so it's kind of similar to the XCOM where you would taser aliens or whatnot. So you get more um, weapons or stuff to collect. And um, you also capture the aliens at the same time, <laughs> I remember. So let's just run right next to this guy and beat him with the bat. So, subdue. Boom. <laughs> so he's unconscious, but she's definitely going to get a shot. Engaging. Oof. That's not good. Um, I'm sure I can heal. i just got to figure out how to do that, do that in a bit. And I want to subdue him, but it's not going to be possible. So, I'm just going to run here and potentially just shoot him down. 84%. You should go down. There you go. Right in the face. Eliminating. Now they're hitting my people up top, which ain't great. And who we got? Verge. Verge got Stupor. Verge like then stuns a target for one to action, adds them to the Nero network. And not target enemies in the Nero network. Interesting. And then Battle Madness. They're so starting to attack the enemy's mind, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Add them to the Nero network, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Um. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem like we can really use too much of this. And if I can shoot either one, I think that'll be perfect. Or should I stun him first? Uh, I shoot this guy. Right in the face. Okay. Didn't really want to, you know, down him, but really wanted to <laughs> shoot him a little bit so I can actually use this guy to bash him or subdue. But I, I guess it worked out. Alright, so. Is there any other person around? No. Okay, so. We should probably move on over here. Get a better shot. And target right in the face. Pop, pop. Alright. Too many count agents health. So we did the half heal in the beginning of the menu. So that kind of healed up my person. Godmother. He was the one that with the lowest health anyways. Alright, so now we got a breach um, through a wall, looks like. Some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment. Once the agent with the required access is the first slot, other agents can be assigned. Alright, so who has it? It looks like they all have it. No, only Cherub has it. So Cherub is the bomb bomber man, I guess. And then we just put everybody else in here. I guess there can be a strategic way to put them here, but I don't know what that is right now. So... Just randomly selecting and breaching the wall. Or, or not. Come on. We need more than that. Free one PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Okay, so the mayor's in there. Exhibit. It is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how huh. they went soft and got weak. Now it's up to us to light. The spark. He's holding detonator. XCOM's got weak. Mm. I don't know about that. Go, go, go. Alright, I see the mayor who's right in front over here, and then you got some troopers on the sides. Let's get, of course, our 100%er. Boom. <laughs> Just curve shot the dude somehow. You got any other hundred percenters? Nope. It's the guy in front. Uh, you got a shotgun. You can do it. Pop. All right. So that's fifty-seven versus fifty-six. We'll go for the long ranger guy. And actually, that downed him, huh? Uh, let's get rid of this guy in front. I want to get this guy. Ah, he didn't get downed. It's all right. All right. So I kind of want to heal up a little bit. All right, so the enemy's turn, and of course, takes down Cherub. On it, Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. All right, so I think that's a tutorial type of thing that always happens. Um, so the agent loses all the HP, bleeding out several turns, and he's getting a number at a time. So three times he's dead. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is safe. Blah blah, blah with the ability. Encounter is complete before the timer expires. Okay, so 
unlike the old XCOMs, you lose your mission once you lose your guy. So you don't just like lose them, lose them <laughs> like in regular XCOMs or XCOMs 2. So we're going to use the time to stabilize. I guess we got to walk up to him and stabilize. Right? Stabilize. All right. Okay, so we stabilized him. He's unconscious, but Godmother is right in the crosshairs of everything. And the enemy has the next shot. So I, I kind of want to... Can we heal her? What does this do? Send the gremlin an ally. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Or um let's put her here. So Oh keep forgetting her name. Terminal. Jeez. Terminal's here. So let's heal Godmother. Gremlin on the way. Which uses the gremlin. Interesting. Make sure she gets healed up. While we get attacked, so she perfect decision. We got a little bit of defense and full health, and now we have Verge here. We have three more people. We could take this guy out. Do you want to subdue him? Probably not. Um, maybe I can play around with the stupor, which stuns the target for two actions and then adds it to a neural network. So let's try that for fun. We. All right, so, haha, <laughs> sorry, down on your knees. Oh, great, so I get another shot. So that's one turn. I can shoot somebody else. That's 64. I mean, I can shoot him, but I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot this guy. Perfect, took him down. All right, so now he might shoot me, or I think he might shoot the mayor, because he's right there. Yep, I'm right for the mayor, and point blank and missed. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but now he's overwatching. Um, which is fine. Come on, aren't you stunned? Why are you shooting? <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so, I can... That he's part, the overwatch is there, so... Can I shoot twice? Or am I going to only shoot once? I should be able to shoot twice. So, let me shoot him once. And I can move, oh no, I can't, so I shot once. Mm, I forgot to do double fire, but maybe that's different setting or part of the thing. So let's move. You know what? I'm just gonna move here with terminal. Just hit him in the hit him in the face. Subdue him. <laughs> and I'm gonna move hit this guy over here, and also just knock him in the face. Ba -ba. Is under arrest. Sheriff, and we're done. Are you still with us? <laughs> yeah. Think so. Sound pretty calm for being unconscious, or how is he even talking that he's unconscious? None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. Right? I'm grateful. Jeez. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment a month ago. These insurgents were all talk and no capability. It takes time. It builds up to be a threat. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. Nice. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. Mm. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm We're living in a world That's of aliens, peace. humans. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. And we're supposed to work together. All right, so... Mission report. So we got a good rating. Um, Godmother's wounded. Cherub's gravely wounded. Terminal's unharmed. And Verge is lightly wounded. So not the greatest, but it's not too bad. All right. So, wow, we killed 14 enemies. I didn't realize there was 14 enemies in this whole encounter. All right. From three captured enemies, there's six percent chance to earn 20 intel. Hmm. Interesting. But that's what it is. Alright, hit continue and let's move on. Like these kind of comic style videos. Pretty cool. PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? First Celebrate official tutorial mission. mission. <laughs> it's 
Whoa, no. That's not good. Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at wow. City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain. So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice? Oh, in your head? no. That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Oh, interesting. <laughs> The enemy wanted us to capture, well, rescue her, I guess. That's what it looks like. You're fired. That's enough You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum. Director Kelly. Hello. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Pretty cool. Tonight, the control station. Past my expectations. 3-1-PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and so down I'm an agent. So, I'm a little bit curious. Do I have to rebuild the whole underground station like the other XCOMs? I mean, that was fun, but I wasn't always the biggest fan of it. But it, it made it interesting. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. All right, go to the map table. <laughs> city map, we go. Welcome to City 31. City 31. For Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new huh. industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the very interesting populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. No now is this water? I would think this is water. We don't know and that's a little little island. But we can find Interesting. PD requested our help sifting through evidence I guess this is the commercial side. Lost good officers today. This is maybe residential. You know what they need and see this what is they maybe residential and commercial. Who knows? All right, so City 31. The map is where we see the status of City 31 and any current targets we can send our squad to respond to. Chimera Squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so... Uh, looks like, oh, it's like different little things, and... This is Old Town. The Fringe, Switchyard, Angles Point, Riverside. Okay, so they put it in, I guess... Can you call it quadrants? Three by threes. Nine boxes of stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so vi view the situation in a downtown district. And that's a critical mission, I guess. The so downtown district, right in the middle, flat dab in a 3x3x grid. The Memorial Museum aftermath. So 31 PD needs help pro bleh. 3D PD needs help pouring through the aftermath of tonight's attack. Mayor Nightingale's death has a city on edge. Let's do what we can to help. So I guess we gotta send something down here. So sending the APC to resolve situation automatically advance the day. Are you ready to pursue proceed? Yes, because the game's telling me to do so. <laughs> Alright, from the archives, we've done what we can to aid 31 PD. 31 PD. Commissioner Maluf passed along her thanks for helping her officers bear the weight of this attack. And we can hit continue. So this is Thursday, March 2040. So remember that because we'll <laughs> if you see us in 2040. Um, that'll be interesting. Work with 31 PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A okay, so it helped us. Bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents hmm. had no access to materials for that. It was like a recon mission help. kind of thing. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Aha, uh -huh, we're digging through it. All right, so. Choose a faction to be investigation target. To be the investigation target. The target faction cannot be changed until it's resolved. Okay, so you gotta choose who to investigate. The Progeny? Great Phoenix? Or the Sacred Coil, I wanna say? Can't see with this stupid thing in the way. Um, 
Can you move it? <laughs> sure. Anyway, so the progeny is a loose network of human scions. Their vision for city that everyone's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Okay. So the Great Phoenix, an organism of alien scavengers, they have quietly amassed a kind of weaponry. Reclamation is mandated to recover. And we have the sacred coil, I think it's coil, can we see? Is the uh, an underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOMs. Okay. So humans with scion abilities. We have X alien scavengers or hybrids to really fight. Um probably don't want to do the psionic, but let's let's just do an order. So let's investigate the progeny and confirm. All with psionic ability. Wow. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need and forget the whole thing. Perfect crime. <laughs> Great. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31 PD's jurisdiction? Right. The reclamation agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. Mm -hmm. so what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations. Investigate, dismantle, take, them, take down. them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous Chimera Diversus Veripus. This is how we help them achieve it. Varibus? Veribus? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so tackling investigation. So every investigation has three stages. Groundwork from this first mission, learn about the faction and their methods. Operations, hidden missions that must be revealed, then complete and knock out the faction's main plans. Takedown is stop their final attacks and end their threat to City 31. Okay, so she wasn't kidding. She's at groundwork operation takedown. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is the progress. And we have the active operation. So we're going to investigate progeny. We need to know more about the progeny before we can proceed with the investigation. Okay. And that's the review, dark events, investigation log, faction leaders. So we don't know anything about them except they are humans with psionic powers. So let's click this. And that doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So I see you later. All right. So visit the assembly. So let's go to the assembly. Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. With the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could hmm. with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 23. What are we building? Ah, weapons, armors. Our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. So what do we need to start using assembly? So projects is how you get access to new or better items and equipment. Each project can unlock new items for XCOM supply, new weapon or armor upgrades, or a variety of other useful things. Age of science here, decrease the time it takes to complete a project. Okay. So that's interesting. Okay. Illyrium resources. It's one of the three resources. Reclamation, reclamation requires. It is spent to complete projects in assembly. Okay, done. So I guess this is that. This is Illyrium. And we have some credits. And let's select to start a project, right? And the only thing that we have available is Android personnel. So construct the Android OPS hub. This network allows used to allows us to use Androids or tactical missions and enables new assembly projects. You get an Android tactical unit, purchasable in supplies, and unlock our entry level assemblies. Okay, so let's start this. Boom. Projects are ready to begin. Okay. So that's in progress. So can I add somebody here? Should I add somebody here right now? Uh, it didn't save. I, I I should or should not. But what if I do? Let's add reassign to assignment. This agent is currently assigned to duty. Are you sure? Agent assignment. Um. Uh. Let's let's not. <laughs> 
I might need this person. Oh, we'll come back. All right, so there's a critical combat mission target available. So here is where we're going to investigate um, the progeny because I don't think we have anything else. Well, I went to the armory without it telling me to do so, but the armory is when you manage agents. So loadout is the weapons, armors, and others. Okay, that's familiar. Agent abilities, so you have their abilities to like the psionic abilities and stuff like that and promote agents. Cool. Biography, don't care about that. Tint armor. <laughs> oh, I should care, but tint armor change color. Uh, that's why I don't really care too much. The director All right. The city council. We're too understaffed to be effective. Okay, so this, this is where you can bring create more bring more people in. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Alright, so who do we want to bring in? We have Claymore Shelter and Axiom. So his role is explosive, AoE breaching. Interesting. So yeah, shrapnels, bombs, and concussive charge later on. Shelter psionics. Ally buff mental attacks. Interesting. Ah. Axiom high damage cover destruction. Smash. Rage. Block. <laughs> That's interesting. Um Big boom, buffer, or like big old giant, I guess you can call it. Uh, I'm gonna pick the big old giant. Why not? Whisper, there's a problem. Uh -huh. Axiom, welcome. What's wrong? I uh, noticed someone took the biggest locker. Yeah, that was me. I knew you'd get here eventually and grabbed it so no one else would. Hmm. No Don't way. Don't worry, I'll move my stuff. Yeah, that's the problem. I already did. Violent. What? You don't sound very violent. <laughs> yeah, afterward. I'll replace what I can. <laughs> Great. So I guess you could do the loadouts and everything too. So what's your I got a shotgun. I got nothing else. You got some body armor, it's good. No breach items. No utilities. Awesome. So you got the assault rifle, body armor, converge. Cherub has breaching charges, perfect. Nothing there. He's got the sub machine gun. He's got she's got the shotgun. Okay. So that's that. So I guess now since I've gotta pick four people for the group, right? Or can you pick more than four people in a group? I'm not sure. Let's add somebody here. Let's let's just add Axiom here since he hasn't done anything and he's not gonna do anything anyway, so um because I'm I'm gonna stick with the main four for now. The original four, let's call it. So let's go to investigate the progeny. So we're gonna go to mission one credit resources credits. One of the most one credits are one of the three resources reclamation requires. They are spent in supply to both buy new items and upgrading existing ones. Okay. So what does that mean? So reward is thirty five. So this means thirty five. So for some reason. When I looked at it, I, I thought it spent 35 just to do the mission, which I was completely wrong. <laughs> but yeah, let's go for it. We're going to investigate Progeny at a... It looks like difficulty is easy. Here we go. Hostile forces need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, All right. you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Sounds good to me. I have nothing here already checked. I believe. Yep, I already checked. So, let's launch. Ooh, look at that APC. Looks like he's spending more his time on his rear wheels than is the front. <laughs> asked to speak with this company's owner about his connections to the progeny. That's when his staff pulled weapons, and the police barely made it out. Jeez. Subdue if possible. Take him down if not. All right, time to subdue the owner or something like that. All right, so, ah, interesting. We got side window. We got the other side window and we got the middle. So it sounds like a good idea to do one here. Of course, one here. And I'll put the, um, put Gamma to here. And then one on the side windows. Should we do this? Probably a Good idea, probably a bad idea based on the spread. But here we go. Stay Let's see what happens. We shall move in. Boom boom. 
Kick the door down. I see a little snake. All right, so who we got targeting? All right, so it looks like three targets. He's surprised, so he's definitely gonna get shot down. Let's get him down. Ba Boom. All right, so next person is the Acolyte. 91%, that's 84, 63. I'll take the 91. Hope if he gets critted, he's down. Nope, he's good. Uh, I'm not going to kill him. Let's see. I will try to shoot the Thrall. Right above his head. Perfect miss. Yes, perfect miss. <laughs> Alright, if we can shoot this guy, he might fall. I don't know if he... Yeah, he, he fell. <laughs> Alright, team up. Once per mission, an agent can be moved on the timeline so they can take the next turn. Disability shared by entire squad. Okay, okay. So if I use this, it can move up the timeline. So grants a defensive bonus move. With this event, it's caught in dangerous situation or to coordinate tactics. Okay, so. Uh, civilian casualty result in the unrest increase in the city district. Move adjacent to civilians to immediately move, move from play and rescue them. Okay, that's fine. Oop, press the wrong button. Alright, so, um, I am moving Cherub. And I can potentially rescue this guy first. Alright, yeah, let's, let's do that. Or maybe I could pop here and get this Acolyte down. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just pop here. Take out the Acolyte. And not that guy. This guy. 57%. You're right next to each other. Come on. No way. Uh, shot him with three. That wasn't superb. But oh. 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 Ouch. What? I didn't, I didn't plan that. <laughs> um, Damn it. I was going to subdue somebody too. Alright. So let's get you out of play. And I think I can shoot from here. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Missed. Hit most of the column. Uh, sure, it's okay. Let's move here. This will do it. Actually, I could have just moved right there and just bashed him in the head. But you know what? Since you shot at us, I'll see you later. <laughs> Jeez, six damage. Crazy. Alright, you guys are out of play. Get out of here. Those employees, their movements were synchronized. <laughs> my old advent training. Interesting. Psionic impulses direct their actions, but their minds are empty. Huh. Rich mode. Okay. Um, looks like terminal can break this, so let's just do that. Let's have. Well, we need a main door too. Okay, so. We'll put chair up here and only she can be here, right? Okay, there you go. So let's put, put Godmother there with her and you two can be together. I mean, probably don't have to do it this way, but why not? Reaching in. Reaching in. It's go time. All right. Boom. We got a good shot at this guy. Uh, poor shot on that guy. Uh, poor shot on that guy. Oh, there's somebody upstairs, which is great. That's really great. So, let's just... Yeah, let's take him down. He shoots in a weird way, always. Alright, so, let's get this guy out of the way. Completely miss. Guess not. So, people up top, which they have really good cover. I'm going to try to take them down. Alright, that's one down. And I'm going to aim for this guy up top too. And just hope for the best. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Alright. Because he's got a really good sight on us. So, that's going to be a little bit tricky. So, who, which one is this one? This this guy up here. So, he's got a good shot at us. Um, So, we're definitely going to take some damage. Which is fine. We... Can't subdue anybody just yet. So I'm gonna move here. Okay, I'm moving. Okay. To just go. to move get somebody out. out of play. 
And I can potentially just bash somebody if I wanted to. He might get killed in one shot. Um, I don't know. Do I want to? I do want to subdue somebody. So let's do a kinetic shield. And on who? I guess. What? What? What are we aiming for? On yourself. Yeah. Do it on yourself. Perfect. Now, okay, so he's coming down. Perfect. So I can subdue. Saw soul fire. How? That's a bit of damage. Okay, so that's fine. And you have your accolade back there. Okay. So what we want to do is probably pop in here. Go, go, go. And I can shoot this guy or this guy. Let's shoot this guy. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. And it looked like I shot the hostage, but <laughs> I don't think it did. And... Okay. Guess the connect shield didn't hold that up. But the good news is I can subdue this acolyte. So you're gonna get bashed in the head. So, pop! <laughs> and he's gonna run away, which is fine. And the hostage ran, so that's good. Oh, got shot at, but missed. Perfect. So now I can go over here. On the move. And Get Godmother the can bat you in the head. Pop! Hostage. Why'd you just. Why'd you do that? Alright, Cherub, your turn. You can. I guess you could just go here and just pop him in the face, right? Should we just pop him in the face? I kind of want to just pop in the face. Alright, so let's just go here. Get some half cover. And just, just shoot him in the face. Just do it. And you you missed. Really? Really? <sighs> Alright, so... You know what? I'm just going to go up here. I can make it there. <laughs> what the hell? Interesting. And... I guess we can just stun you. See what happens. <laughs> you are stunned. Okay, so I'm all the way back here. I can't do much. So can we save a hostage or anything like that? Nope, I don't seem like I can. So that's a bit of a wasted spot. Um, Let's just move here. It doesn't matter. On the run. He's going to do something afterwards. So he's stunned, so he's good. He can't do anything. All right, so... I'm going to make you go here, just for fun. And then Cherub, right, can, well, you can just move here. Heading over there. And you can shield bash him for fun. Boom. Well, <laughs> and you can subdue him. Bop. Is under arrest. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. So that wasn't too shabby. Next up. Okay, so the owner's in here. We're gonna do a breach, so I got two breaches. You got the wall or these this door. Um uh I hope it's let's just do something different, okay? Oh, it says agent damage likely. Okay, so yeah, I was going to say let's do something different and just go through the wall and not separate. And that sounds like a good idea to me since it is not this right here. It's more of a surprise. Yeah, so you get surprised. Okay, I didn't even read that when the other doors, but now we know. So let's just do that. And I think you can bring more than four people at a time, it looks like. Surprise! Oh, surprise only at 96%. They're on the other side of 61, so I'll take you out. Oh, right through the window. You can be taken out. Completely miss. Got blocked. Hit him with four. And you can try to take him out. Hit him one. Grazed. Wow. That's not that's not good. Alright, so. Spotted the VIP. Try the VIP. What is that? What's that mean? Could go down? 
Anyway, so we're gonna try for capture. Sue. Um. We're okay. So cherub. We should start getting going to this side and brace ourselves. All right. So let's try to shoot somebody down. Um. Alright, the hostage needs to duck. Alright, um, hostage duck, not the enemy, please. <laughs> okay, the acolyte ran away. A little bit of soul fire to Cherub. Ouch. Ouch. Not Cherub. Nope, not Cherub. Ooh, that's distance. Okay, so the godmother and then who's next? Who's this guy? This guy. Okay. Hmm. 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 How can I do this without getting myself destroyed? That's dashing. Yep. All that's dashing. All that's dashing. Um. That's dashing. So let's get on this side here. And see who can target. Do I want to take him down? No. I'll leave him alone. Um. Peace. Definitely can get that guy. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna target this guy and also do somebody else. Oh, he was a full cover too. Alright, cool. Run, hostage, run. Scattered in strength. Ooh, missed. Okay. Let's figure out the next move here. Um You're too far away for me to do anything. What is this? I don't know what this is. Guess you could go downstairs. Is that what it is? Hmm? And pop up somewhere else. Is that what that is? Let's see. Don't know what that does. Uh, I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, I probably should just get cover. I'll move here. Repositioning. Okay. Uh oh. He can potentially fall. Oh, that's a little bit close. All right, so I definitely need to heal my people. You're pretty bad shape too, but let's heal Cherub. He'll be fine. Nice thinking. Oh, go. And I have another move to make, which is probably going to be weakening somebody. Uh, 42, 41, uh, 42 it is. Bam! Break the window. Pop up. And of course you miss. Good job. <laughs> Run! Oh, the VIP's gotta get out the window. That's what that is. Okay. Alright, so, we need to make a move here. So, Cherub has a decent amount of HP now. We'll move you by the couch. Shifting position. <laughs> And shoot you in the face. For a better tomorrow. All right, run, 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 get out of there. Uh, so fire on the godmother. Oof, that's a bit much. All right, so I need to do something in terms of subduing. I want to subdue somebody. What's preparation? Ah, prepares for the next turn. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, we need to do a team up, I think. So, how does that work? So I have to use the team up here, right? Coordinate with target unimpaired ally. Move their next. Okay, so let's do team up, and I'll take. No, I don't want to take verge. Not Verge. I'll take... Who's closest? Terminal. I'll take Terminal. So let's team up. Alright, so he's moved up in timeline. So what I'm going to do is... Hide here. And shoot this guy in the face. Perfect. And I was hoping to be able to subdue him, but 
He is way too far. So, we're gonna test our luck here. Kill Godmother and hope Verge doesn't get shot down. Good thinking. <laughs> Which is a probably a bad idea, but... Eh, sure, why not? And I'm gonna dash it here. Okay, so that was kind of a waste of a team up. Poorly used. Poorly used by me. Alright, so... Missed. That's good. Alright, so you can finally... Make it over here. And... You can just go pop. Oh, jeez. He flew. Wait, is he supposed to get out? Oh, I'm supposed to not let him leave. Um, uh, <laughs> sure. So that I played that all wrong. But let's get over here. Should capture him supposedly. So let's just shoot him in the face. Um. No ammo. Uh. Uh. I wasn't supposed to. Do it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. So we will move. Ah, eh, we're just gonna move. Come on, they're right in front, and just bash him in the face. See what happens. Bam! Hit him with three. Eh. Failed to subdue. Failed to subdue, but terminals got it. We're good. So yeah, I think I was supposed Stay to just down. subdue the main guy, but it's okay. All right, whatever. Um, cool. <laughs> well, we got excellent. Wounded, wounded, unharmed, and wounded. Not too bad. Captured five, so earned 20 intel. And I think we're supposed to capture the accountant, but we shot him. Yay. <laughs> All right, back that APC up. What we got? Uh, oh no, that's our that's a garage. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Alright, so... This is what I got from the archives. Blah, blah, blah. Alien Agency. Jane, what are you thinking? What is our greatest existential threat? Blah, 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 blah. Assembly completed. Cool. Got money. Got 20 for capturing whatever. And it's now Friday, March 2nd, 2040. Actually pretty close to the recording date. <laughs> Minus the years, of course. Progeny went after expensive assets. What's behind expensive their sudden assets. need for funding? They have no love for hybrids, the journalists. which presumes a motive to kill the mayor. As for means, psionics could give them the ultimate insider, a member hmm. of Mayor Nightingale's protective detail. Interesting. Okay, so this is the investigation status, the progeny in progress, um... Confiscate the tech, which is good. We've seen the progeny use tech of an unfamiliar design. Now that this came from the advent, track down the source of this tech. We need to know how they're using it. Okay, so the next thing to do is look for the tech. Interesting. Okay. All right. So, um, let's see. Grant one additional unit. Blah blah. Perfect. All right. So now we have more things that we can build now. But. We'll worry about that in the next episode. Authorizing Chimera Squad for special operations. Special ops. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Spec ops Keep are soul agents duties that help Chimera and 31 overall. They can prove unrest, gain resources, or reward, and da Okay. Um, interesting. So I'm just going through it. And we have the next target, which is at the stacks, it looks like. So... There are a variety of kinds of mission targets, investigations, sites, and emergencies. So, investigations are purple with a groundwork and will advance the game story. Sites are yellow. The emergencies are red, showing up in Discord's unrest. Okay, so main quest. I read that already. I read that already. <laughs> anyway, so this and this. We'll pro uh, progress the story, but these are the side missions and rental emergencies. But we're going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM's Chimera Squad. It's an um, interesting, fun title to play. Good game. So yeah. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and this game and you want to continue to watch this, please leave a like down on the video below. Hit the subscribe button and help us grow this channel. And of course, leave some comments and also hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.